10 tips, 10 days. Tip number three, maintain your boundaries. Well, so imagine, after you woke up yesterday in a mountain inn, we spent the day hiking at a nice pace, not too fast, not too slow, making our way to the next mountain inn. And as we did, you started thinking about what are your core values. And as I said yesterday, core values are not just the foundation of your vision for life, for your career, for business or for both, for all three of them. Sorry, apologies. They are also um, the fence post of your boundaries. Now as we hike and we're not, we, every now and again we dip into the valley where we get to hike among cows, like these. You see look at this. Oh. A couple of really, well they're calves really, down here. So every now and again we come up against a herd of cows, sometimes sheep. And these sheep, and or this cattle, is always fenced in. They may be enjoying a huge amount of space somewhere high up in the mountains, but somewhere we have to cross a boundary. We cross from one meadow into the next. With boundary, and those boundaries are not always easily cross. Sometimes you have to literally climb over them. Sometimes there's a current on them to deter the cows from just running plain through them. And sometimes it's just a wall built out of rocks that have been cleared out of the fields. But they're also always servers. They are always, always clearly marked. It's hard to not notice them. It should be the same with um, your boundary. And when you are not clear about your values, it's also hard to be clear about your boundary. As I said, your boundaries are like fence posts. Your, excuse me, your core values are like the fence posts of a good and well-built fence. Okay. Okay. So your core values are like the, bound, the fence posts of a well-built fence no point in just taking a fence post in your hands and trying to smash it into the ground hoping it will stay upright. You have to dig a proper post hole. Now, when you've dug proper post holes, when your core values are properly set within you, you then also can attach beams to that, those fence posts and that in that they clearly mark your boundaries. How do you know your people are crossing your boundaries? Let me just climb over one here. How do you know people are crossing boundaries, your boundaries? You know so because you feel resentment, you are angry, you are frustrated. And look at the situations that that happens, that those feelings come up and you will find, likely find, that that's when your boundaries are being crossed. So how do you draw the line? How do you draw a clear boundary where people will know 
this is where they can this is where they can come up to and after that it's not okay with you sometimes it's enough to simply say no and it's a cliche but no actually is a uh, is a complete sentence but to be honest I myself don't always find it easy to say no it is uh, it's rather blunt isn't it and I can be blunt I'd say I'm regularly accused of being blunt but to simply say no and leave it at that I don't always find that easy well truthfully truth be told I find that rather challenging but there are times when it actually works even for me so simply say no and there's a multitude of ways in which you can say no sometimes it's I'm sorry but I've got previous engagements when you are asked to do something or to attend something. However, if you want to make sure that people understand that ask, what they're asking of you is something that you don't do simply because it's not in alignment with your values, then it can be a really good thing to first say or explain to them that what, being a what is being asked of you is not in alignment with your values. And second, what you're willing to do or what you would rather see happen instead. That is especially important that you do this after your values have been, uh, not your values, but your boundaries have been crossed in a way that's not okay with you. So when it comes to reigniting your vision it's not enough to simply take time off to take time out to go for example into the mountains for a couple of days it's not enough to simply think about okay what are my core values again which core values are not mine and am I living uh, in accordance with right now what core values do I have to let go to make room for my own core values you also have to set boundaries because if you don't set boundaries you will quickly find yourself on your way to somebody else's vision working for a business that does things that are not in alignment with your core values where you're asked to do things that are crossing your boundaries, not necessarily the company's boundaries, the, the, the business that you're working for, but your personal boundaries. And at some point that leads to resentment and to anger and to frustration. To head that off, it's important for yourself to be clear on your boundaries and to make them clear to other people too. As always, go there greatly. Bye bye.